Hello YouTube, this is Dazza the Cameraman. Today is Tuesday, November 22nd, 2016. This is an update on my video Mysterious Sphere spotted in NASA's Sun Images. Wayne Steiger has gone ahead and uploaded a response video following my video. And uh, I note that Steve Olson has already acknowledged in a, another video that they got it wrong and the images shown in my video is indeed the sun. But in this video by Wayne Steiger, he is now claiming that there was actually more going on in that video than what we saw in my response video, and he's now pointing to these images from the Stereo HI2 camera. And as you can see there, he's saying, this is not the sun, and he's pointing to an apparent background object here, the circular object. And uh, he's saying that this is not the sun. He's suggesting that there was some other object there that they were trying to cover up by superimposing the image of the real sun over the HI1 camera to try and hide this object that we can see leading through here in this image. Let's take a listen to this video. Ladies and gentlemen, there was something else going on in this event. And I contend that is not the sun, and I'll show you why. We begin to look at this in different light spectrums. We can see the sun here. You can see the corona, all of that. And it's an amazing question that needs to be delved into a little bit more, how a software um, image uh, refraction on the satellite could do this. They talk about circuitry overload. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Overload, excuse me. But ladies and gentlemen, this is something else other than the sun. And I will take you through here and show you that it shows up in every visible light spectrum. It's probably the most compelling shot right there. This is not Venus. I grant you this is not the sun. But ladies and gentlemen, whatever this is, it's big. It's very big. And I happen to think that this is one of the best frames that you can see it at. That's a, that is not the sun. This is the sun. I will grant it that. But this is not. I'm telling you, that is a brown dwarf star. And you can come to your own conclusions, but I'm telling you, that is not a camera software malfunction. So there you heard it, folks. There was Wayne Steiger, who has just announced that that is, in fact, a brown dwarf. He says it is not the sun, and that it is real, and that it is not a camera malfunction. Now, we saw in my first video that the mystery sphere object that appeared in the HI1 camera turned out to be a superimposed image from the EU VI-171 camera, which due to a, a glitch became superimposed over the HI1 image. We could clearly see from the features on the surface that we looked at that it was actually the same object in both images. It's been rotated 90 degrees and flipped. Let's take another look at these new images that Wayne Steiger has presented to us. So last night I downloaded all of the images from November 16 and 17 from all of the cameras on the Stereo Ahead spacecraft. And I picked out those particular images that we were looking at in Wayne's video. So let's take a look. So here is one of the frames that he was using. This is from November 16, 2016 at 18.09. And we can clearly see this black object which Wayne Steiger has, according to him, positively identified as a brown dwarf. In the background we can also see the image of the sun, which was the superimposed image, 
which ended up in the HI-1 camera. So what could this dark object in the middle be? Well, let's flick to the other image from the Core 2 camera. And we can see that exactly the same thing has happened here on the HI-2 camera as happened before on the HI-1 camera. And what we're getting here is a superimposed image of the Core 2 camera image on the HI-2 camera image. So the object which Wayne Steiger has positively identified, according to him, as being a brown dwarf, is in fact the black occulta disk. Now this black disk blocks out the, the sun. The white circle that you see there represents the actual size of the sun behind the occulta disk. The black occulta disk, which is a, a physical object in the camera, blocks out the bright sunlight so that we can see the surrounding atmosphere of the sun and the, the flares, the CMEs, as they come off. So all we're seeing in this HI2 image is that black occulta disk being bled through. We've got the Core 2 image and we've got the EUVI171 image, which has produced this one here, being superimposed over this HI2 image. So once again, Wayne Steiger and Steve Olson debunked. They're presenting things as brown dwarfs, Nibiru Planet X, which are simply a camera malfunction. That's all it is, folks. Now, I did post some comments under Wayne Steiger's video, Another Perspective on Sechi. Let's scroll down and have a look at my comments, which I posted last night, about nine hours ago. This top comment, Wayne, I just checked all of the images from all of the cameras, and you're right. The other mystery object is not the sun, no. It is, in fact, the black occulta disk from the stereo ahead Core 2 image mixed up with the HI1 image. Do I really need to post yet another debunking video and put you and Steve to shame again? Come and talk to me, buddy. Unlike your friend Steve, maybe you can talk with me like a reasonable adult instead of screaming murderer at me like Steve did to Astronomy Live. Well, I've had no response whatsoever to those comments. I've had no replies. I've had no emails. So I just thought that I would go ahead with this video. Well, ladies and gentlemen... This is something else other than the sun. Get it, get it, get it, get it. This is not Venus. I grant you this is not the sun. But ladies and gentlemen, whatever this is, it's big. It's very big. Get it, get it, get it, get it. That's a, that is not the sun. This is the sun. I will grant it that. But this is not. And the final word goes to Wayne Steiger. I'm telling you, that is a brown dwarf star. Get it, get it, get it, get it.